Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to the Motorcycle Fixer channel. Today I'm going to strip down and rebuild a pit bike gearbox. Just to show you how it goes together, if you ever needed to change a gear, uh, if, you, if one of your teeth are broken off or if one of them are bent. But before we start, can I just ask you for something? If you like the videos you watch on YouTube, or if they help you, please just hit the like button. I would never ask you for any money through Patreon etc, so the best way to help content creators such as myself is just hit the like button. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps the channels out um, because YouTube show other people the videos the more likes that the video gets so it really does help. Also if you haven't already please subscribe and then you'll be notified when new videos come out. Okay that's the admin out of the way let's get our hands dirty. Okay first of all we're going to strip them down so just show you everything that's on there. First we've got our this is our input shaft so the clutch goes on here. First we've got a spacer there then we've got our so that would be our fourth gear and then there's this washer on the shaft so we lay it out so that it goes back on this way yeah okay then we've got a little circlip there so we can take this little circlip off try and come close up the camera here we are So there's our circle clip. There's our next gear. Then there's another circle clip. There. There's another gear, but yeah, there's a spacer. Another one like that. That goes there. Then there's this gear. And then that's the shaft. Complete with this gear. So that's our input shaft. So our output shaft, you've got washer, spacer then you've got this gear that gear there's a spacer there so gear first off if you see there there's like a bevel on the inside of that gear can you see the bevel on it? it's flat on the outside there's a bevel on the inside so that one goes like that, another spacer which goes there, then you've got the gear, as you notice I'm checking the gears to see if there's any spacers or washers stuck to them as I take them off and therefore I know then right there to change the battery on the camera then but, um, but okay, so next then is our is a little another uh, spacer. You can see that got splines on it. Then we got another circle clip. Get that off there. There we are. Circle clip. Then we've got a 
that gear. Again, I'm trying to lay them out so that they go on this way, <laughs> but it's hard <laughs> trying to remember which way to do it. Um, okay, then we've got another circlip. I'll take this one off. It's a bit more difficult because it's up against a spacer. And I broke the teeth off my pliers, as you can see. So. Let's see if these other ones will get it. There we are, that's better. Okay, so that's another circlip. Then we've got a washer, another one with the splines on it. We've got the last gear, and then that gear has a little bush or a bearing, it's a bush it is, inside it, and then that's our output shaft, completely stripped down. So rebuilding and then is exact is just going back through, um, give everything a good coating of oil when you put it back together because it it'll help it. But okay, there's our our bush going on. There's our gear. So when you put this first gear on, this is on the the outside if you want. But you need these cutouts because that's what meshes with. This gear, these teeth mesh into those cutouts. So, but there's our spacer first, spline spacer that goes on all the way on. And then we've got a, our circlip. So, try to get this back on without it pinging off. Make sure the circlip is right down in the groove. There we are. Click. And then just make sure that, that they won't move. There we are. Okay. So our next gear, as I said, with the, the teeth, they sit inside those slots there. Like so. Then we've got another circlip. So we're going to put this one on. Into that groove there. So this gear can move back and forth when you're selecting gears. Okay. Spline washer. So we try to turn it for the camera. There we are. Anyway, that one goes on next. Then we've got this gear now sits in, and these dogs are what it connects with these. So when it slides back and forth, like that, see? So if it was, if you put it on the wrong way round, then it wouldn't, obviously, it wouldn't connect. So this one goes there. Then we've got washer back on this is our last gear then as I said remember with the bevel on the inside that one goes back on and then as our space and then this, that sits against the bearing in the case so there we are that's the out shaft output shaft built <laughs> same again now with our input shaft Put it back together as we took it apart. So this one on first with the dogs facing inwards. And we've got this splined washer it goes on all the way on there. Circlip.
There we go. Make sure it goes into the groove. Nice positive click so that our gear can't move back and forth. Okay. Then it's our next gear. Make sure that one goes on. So you can see that's how it meshes with that. And we've got another circlip. That fits in that next groove there. Make sure you get a positive click. Oh, sorry, move camera. Make sure you get a positive click on that. Then we've got another spline washer and our last gear. These cutouts sit on the dogs on this gear as you can see so when it goes together that's what drives the gear yeah just move back and forth and that's what drives the gear okay and then last but not least this washer then it sits on the outside and sits against the case in so there's that's our complete gear box rebuilt if you want to see the video now of this going back in the engine um, not this particular engine but a different engine um, same gearbox then look for my uh, Z155 gearbox build I'll put a link at the end of the video uh, if you haven't already click the um, M&L motorcycles uh, badge at the end of the video to subscribe um, and, I, and again Please just hit the like button it doesn't cost you anything but it does really help me out and if you can and if you want to say ask me anything then comment because that also helps the channel as well so thank you very much for watching nice short one this week somebody asked me for this video so again if there's anything you want to see then let me know in the comments down below thank you very much and have a nice day